You're listening to Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia, episode 70. This is Nick. This is Brad. This is Brandon. Alright, so you might notice that someone else is doing the introduction this week. That's because it's a game show edition. This is the music game show edition. Hell yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to title this Shitty Tears Game Show Edition. <laughs> Tight. <laughs> I will play, in other words, I will attempt to play... A riff or two from 24 pieces of music that you should be able to recognize. Once you recognize the piece of music, call out your true name. Torment for Brad, Crisis for Brandon. Whoever buzzes in first will have the opportunity to guess what the piece of music is from. If you're right, you will receive two follow-up questions related to that piece of music. Only the person who answered the question will be able to answer the two follow-up questions. If you get either question wrong, the other player will be allowed to answer the question to steal the full amount of points. Each time you correctly select the correct piece of music, you will get three points. The two follow-up questions are one point apiece for a total of five points. If the other player answers either of the follow-up questions, he steals all five points. Oh man, just any like just one of them he has. Oh man, it's crazy. There will be a final question, and there are prizes to be won. So, beat them up, guys! Yeah! Go for broke! <laughs> Any questions? Nope. Alright. So, we got a scoreboard here. you notice we got Torment and Crisis. <laughs> Crisis has a negative one. This is punishment for bailing on Logan on Friday night at his birthday party. Oh. <laughs> Redden was oddly absent. Well, to be fair, I had made other plans because I didn't know his birthday was going to be on Halloween. Crisis has negative one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is your first piece of music. As I said, as soon as you recognize it, call out. Smells like Teen Spirit? Uh, I should have said you just have to name the band. I'm sorry. Oh, Nirvana. Name, name the band. <laughs> sorry. Name the band. You, you, you'll get a pass on that one. Yes, that's correct. Here are your follow-up questions. Finish this lyric from the song Lithium. I'm so happy because today I found my friends. They're in my head. That's correct. Next follow-up question. A second guitar player joined Nirvana on the MTV Unplugged in New York album. What was his name? Slash. Incorrect. Crisis for the Steel? Uh, I'm just going to say... Uh, Kurt Hammett. That is incorrect. His name was Pat Smear. Who's that guy? He went on to play with the Foo <clears throat> Fighters. Oh, okay. So, Torment got four points, three points for answering the music question correctly, and then one point for uh, the follow-up question. Here's your next clue. Torment! Metallica! That is correct. Here are your follow-up Metallica questions. Is it picking up okay? Yep. Finish the lyric from Enter Sandman. Sleep with one eye open. Gripping your pillow tight. That's correct. I didn't know if it was gripping or holding. <laughs> the next follow-up question is, who was the original bass player for Metallica? Jason Newstead. Incorrect. Oh. Uh, I know I know it. Um, it's a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds. Three. Dave Mustaine. Incorrect. He yeah. was an original guitar yeah. player. 
But the original bass player was named Cliff Burton. That's right. So Torment's going to take four points for that one. So Torment has eight, and Christ is stuck on negative <laughs> one. <laughs> Here's your next clue. Uh, from hell oh that was on guitar hero i don't know probably <laughs> <laughs> so no three points for either of you we'll have to do a but who buzzes in quickly who buzzes in first for the follow-up questions finish the lyric from walk respect walk and either of you can buzz in <laughs> crisis what do you say I'll accept that. I'll accept that. I had Are You Talking to Me, but oh. either one is acceptable. So now, Torment, or excuse me, Crisis has the, fo the next follow up question. The drummer and guitar player for Pantera are brothers. What are their names? Phil and Samo. <laughs> There's two people. Uh. And Kevin Alsamo. <laughs> That's not correct. Would you like to try to steal Torment? Will I lose points? Nope. Cliff Alsamo. <laughs> Neither Alsamo is correct. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's Dimebag Daryl and Vinnie Paul. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so Crisis got one, correct? Yeah. And I'm you're at the, a fresh zero because that negative one that you had working against you. Love. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one doesn't require a dirty sound. Okay. Here is your next clue. Crisis. Uh, Alice in Chains. That is correct. Finish the lyric from Man in the Box. I'm the man in the box. Buried in... My shit. That's correct. The original front man for Alice in Chains died in 2002. What was his name? I don't know. Jerry Cantrell? Incorrect. Jerry Control is still alive. Oh. <laughs> uh, the original, uh, you can argue that Jerry Control is the front man, but he didn't die, so you can't really make that argument. <laughs> it's Lane Staley. He was the original singer. Oh, yeah, that's right. So Crisis got four. So it's Torment 8, Crisis 4. Here is your next clue. Remember to call out your true name as soon as you know what it is. And you just have to name the band, not the song. Torment. Led Zeppelin. That's correct. Thank you for not making me play that whole song. <laughs> Finish the lyric from Whole Lot of Love. <clears throat> Shake for me, girl. I want to be your... Man. Crisis for the Steel. Loving Man. <laughs> Close. Backdoor Man. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Second follow-up question. In 1980, the drummer of Led Zeppelin died from choking to death on his own vomit. What was his name? I have no idea. Neither do I. John Bonham. So Torment got three, and it's now 11 to four. Here's your next clue. <laughs> Crisis. Ah. Guns N' Roses. Would you like to try to steal? What? That was, that was right? I thought it was Guns N' Roses. Uh, Do you want me to keep playing? Or yes, please. Oh! Torment! Red Hot Chili Peppers! <laughs> that is correct. Finish this lyric from Sir Psycho Sexy. She stuck my butt with her big black stick. I said... 
Oh, mama. That's correct. I have no idea. What's up now? Suck my dick. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Crisis with the steel. You can answer the second one just for fun. You stole all five points. The original guitar player for the Red Hot Chili Peppers died of a heroin overdose in 88. What was his name? Uh, Hello, Slovak. That's correct. Got an honorable five points by answering that question. That's right. Brandon's obsessed with Red Hot Chili Peppers back ten <laughs> years ago, so. Okay. Here's your next clue. Foreman? Megadeth? No. Keep playing, so. That's not correct. Is it? I don't know who it could be. I was hoping that Brad would know this one because he saw them live in concert when Brad did or Brad. Oh, did oh Anthrax. Anthrax. So this is going to be a, a question where whoever buzzes in first gets the opportunity to answer for one point. What is the song "I Am the Law" about? Torment. Being a policeman. I can't accept that. Crisis. Judge Dredd. That's correct. Oh. <laughs> All right, Crisis, you, are, you get the follow-up question. What hip-hop group did Anthrax collaborate with to create Bring the Noise? Oh, uh, uh, what's their freaking name? Five seconds. It's the Flavor Flav group. <laughs> You're trying to help torment. I don't think he could answer. <laughs> I'm going to give him a chance. All right, time's up. Torment, would you like to try to answer? Four point? Uh, run DMC? No. no. Public enemy. That's right. Ding, 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 ding. Bonus question. Uh-oh. Uh, Brandon left the Anthrax concert after Living Color played. Why did you leave? Torment. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> because he was tired. <laughs> Would you like to try to steal? Uh, because I was a bitch. <laughs> uh, I know why. Because he's not an anthrax guy. <laughs> <laughs> anthrax guy. It didn't matter what you said. Uh, oh, one okay. bonus point for Brad for leaving early, Brandon. <laughs> but you still get one point for answering Tight. the Judge Dredd question. So one for Torment because he didn't leave. It's now 12 for Torment, 10 for Crisis. This is your last song, or last piece of music, where you have to name the band. Here we go. Crisis. Uh, uh, Collective Soul. That's correct. Collective Soul opened the show for the first concert that I ever attended. Attended. What band headlined that concert? Aerosmith. Very good. A collective soul song was used in a commercial over the last year or so for a popular restaurant chain. Name the restaurant chain. Uh, TGI Fridays. Incorrect. Torment for the Steel, all five points. You said TGI Fridays? Denny's. Incorrect. It was Golden Corral. The song is called Heavy. You've seen that commercial where they're like walking away from an explosion or whatever? No, uh, I know the song, but I, I didn't know that it was for Golden Corral or I never saw that. That commercial is weird because, like, if you watch, have, have you seen the commercial? Mm -hmm. Oh, the whole point is that there's four supposedly action movie stars walking away from this big explosion, and the, the guy, the, the narrator guy says, How do they manage not to look around, not to look behind them? And there's a big sign that says Golden Corral, fourteen dollars uh, for all you can eat shrimp or something, so they're not distracted because they're so focused on that. <laughs> but if you look in the background, there's like this guy running from the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So those were all of the band questions. This next section is the WWF section. Oh, tight. You just need to guess the wrestler. 
Here's the first one. Crisis! Ultimate Warrior! Yeah! What is Ultimate Warrior's given name? Uh, Jim Helwig. That's correct. Who did Ultimate Warrior defeat at SummerSlam 88 to win the Intercontinental Championship? Honky Tonk Man! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> For five. Here's your next clue. Torment. Mankind? No. Uh. Would you like me to keep playing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sean Michaels. That's correct. <laughs> I just like hearing the music. <laughs> Who was Sean Michaels' tag team partner in the Rockers? Marty Jannetty. That is correct. Name three of Sean Michaels' wrestling nicknames. Uh, the Heartbreak Kid, uh, Mr. WrestleMania, and the Showstopper. That's correct. I would have also accepted the main event, the icon, or the headliner. So, Crisis takes all five points there. Oops, oh, okay, not the next. Here we go. Crisis! Oh. Crisis got in first. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hell yeah! <laughs> what is the name of Stone Cold Steve Austin's finishing maneuver? The Stone Cold Stunner. <laughs> yeah, it is. What are the names of the two shows that Steve Austin currently hosts? The two television shows. Oh, uh, the Broken Skull Challenge and Redneck Island. That's correct. I'm going to have to do a little tuning for these next few songs. One moment, please. <laughs> We've now entered the depths of hell. Oh, man. Prepared? Yep. <laughs> Crisis. Ryback. Uh, Continue. Yes. That's pretty much the end of it. I don't know. I recognize it, I just don't know. The reigning, uh, defending world heavyweight champion of the WWE, Brock Lesnar. That's why I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so buzz in when you uh, know the answer. Who did Brock Lesnar most recently defeat? Torment. John Cena. That's correct. <laughs> Follow up question. Who is Brock Lesnar married to? Crisis. No, oh, El Torito. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. not correct. Oh, I know who it is. I can't think of her name. Now you can, well, you kind of forfeited the right to answer. Would you <laughs> like to try to answer anyway? Uh, Nathan Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Negative points. No, I'm just uh, Sable. Huh. Yeah, that was on the Xbox interview, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I believe so. Okay, so as it stands, Crisis is at. It's like 29 to Torment's 13. You gotta pick it up, Torment. Did I get a point for that one? You did get one point, yeah. Tight. Alright, next piece of music. <laughs> Crisis. Uh, 
Catharsis. Bad News Barrett. Uh, no. Please continue. There's not a whole lot more to it. Okay. <laughs> No. Think female. You guys forget. Oh, they're Paige. Yeah, they're a female. That's right, too. Paige. Paige. I was going to go into the, the chorus for you, but you answered. There's not really much more to it, though, than that. Okay, so, ant are buzzing once you think you know the answer. Paige has won and lost the Div Divas Championship multiple times since WrestleMania 30. Who does she continue to Torment. AJ Lee. That's correct. Page has three finishers. Name two of them. The Page Turner and the the Page Lock. Can't accept that. Would you like to try to steal a point? Uh, Page Turner and the uh, Book End. <laughs> I think that's the same thing as Page Turner. I'm not sure. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the she has the Rampage, which she's been doing lately, where she like cradles the person and does a DDT on him. And she also has that scorpion cross lock. They call it the page tap out or PTO. Oh. I'm at a disadvantage because they don't show page matches on Raw. Really? On the ones that I watch on Hulu Plus. All right, man. so Torment picked up a point there. All right. Here's your next clue. <laughs> Torment, uh, right back. Incorrect. Would you like to guess? No. It's your favorite wrestler. Bray Wyatt? <laughs> your least favorite wrestler. Seamus? <laughs> oh, oh. That guy. That's why I didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so buzz in if you think you know the answer. Seamus has two common nicknames. Tell me one of them. Crisis. Fella. That, that's not a nickname. Oh. He says it a lot, but it's not. It's, people don't say fella and refer to him. Uh, Torment, the Celtic warrior. That's You just had to name one. Oh, okay. And that's correct. Uh, the other one that was acceptable was the Great White. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Torment got a point there. One more follow-up question. Uh, it's going to go to Torment because he answered the first question correctly. What title does Sheamus currently hold? U.S. title, U.S. championship. And who is he going to lose it to? Uh, Rusev. Ha <laughs> yeah he is. Ding, 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 bonus question. <laughs> this is going to go to both of you. Torment, you may answer first. How would you kill Sheamus? Oh, I'd do it slowly. First I'd take straight, ra straight razor blades to his chained up body. And then I, after he had been drained of all his blood, I would cut his head off and take multiple shits down his throat. It's <laughs> pretty good. How about you, Crisis? i chain him to a rock in Alaska when it's 30 days of sunlight and let him burn to death. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fucking good. I'm going to give it to Torment just because I know he hates Seamus so much and plus he's behind. <laughs> okay. I don't think I gave you a point for the... The championship one. Okay. So it looks like it's currently Torment 18 to Crisis is 29. Oh. Here's another wrestling team for you. <laughs>
Randy Orton. Incorrect. Torment, Dean Ambrose. Incorrect. I thought you guys would get these. It's Batista. Oh, do you know what? I I thought I was like, there's no way he'd play a Batista song. <laughs> I got some respect for him after his recent performance in a particular movie. No. All right. Buzz in if you think you know the answer. Who did Batista knock out of the ring to win the 2000... Tarsus, Roman Reigns. That's correct. For one... And this is your question, Crisis. What was Dave Bautista's character's name in Guardians of the Galaxy? I haven't seen this movie yet. Um, Vin Diesel was Groot, I think. I don't know. Do you like to try to steal a point, Torment? I would like to, but I forgot as well. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't forget. I just never saw the movie. Drax, the Destroyer. Drax, that's it, yeah. All right, so no point for that. All right, so Crisis is now at 30 to Torment's 18. Here's your last WWF theme. Torment, Dean Ambrose. Uh, special Ops, uh, Roman Reigns. I'll accept it. I, I put the shield, but Roman Reigns... He... Okay, so I had the shield down, but Roman Reigns does use the same theme, so I'm going to accept it. But these questions pertain to the shield and not just Roman Reigns. Uh, for Crisis, who are the three members of the shield? Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose. That's correct. And who did Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins lose to when they lost the tag team championship belt? The Usos. Ooh, Torment, Steel. the Rhodes Brothers. That's correct. Oh, Those that's three points right. get knocked off. Five points for Torment. One, two, three, four, five. That's when they won the contract back. Yeah. It's actually they, they won the contract back the week before. Oh, yeah. And then they won the belts the week after. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to have to retune again. Pardon me. <laughs> Okay, so I got eight more pieces to play for you. These are all video games. Oh, yes. I think I can... This is the one I'm going to have the most difficult difficulty with because I just learned them recently, but I'll try. Okay. Remember, this is... The rules said that I'm going to fuck up most likely, so here we go. Torment! Ninja Turtles! <laughs> <laughs> yes. And how do you remember that? From the cabins. <laughs> yeah. Eddie you were like, playing it, yeah. Eddie was cracking up when I was playing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so three points pending for Torment. First question. Who developed the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video game? Konami. That's correct. We were just listening to a podcast about that. What are the turtles trying to retrieve from Shredder in the original TMNT game? April. Incorrect. Master Splinter. Incorrect. It's called the Life Transformer Gun, which could restore Master Splinter to his human form. That's huh. right. That's right. <laughs> I didn't know that. I had to look that up. So four points for Torment. Ooh. It's getting interesting now. Okay. This one I'm almost guaranteed to fuck up, but good luck. <laughs> Crisis. Uh, Super Mario 64. Yes, thank you for not making me play the whole thing. <laughs> What's the name of the song? Uh, Inside the Castle. Inside the, the castle. castle Walls. I, it was just a, uh, no points. <laughs> oh, I get excited. <laughs> Inside the Castle Walls. All right, so Crisis has three points pending. On what console was Super Mario 64 released? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what does Mario have to do to enter each level? Jump into a painting. That's correct. Who holds the camera for Mario throughout the game? Uh, Lakitu. That's correct. So five points for Crisis. Okay. I'm going to give this one a shot. <laughs> Thank you.
Torment. Uh, Yoshi? Donkey Kong? Incorrect. Country? <laughs> also incorrect. It's kind of an obscure one, but it was on my top five video game from SNES music list. Secret of Mana? Uh. Lemmings. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the Baroque theme. <laughs> yep. All right. So answer or buzz in when you think you know the, the answer to the question. What type of lemming uses bricks to construct a rising stairway? And Crisis. Then, the... Constructor? Incorrect. Torment, the building lemming? Builder lemming? Builder is the correct answer. I'll give it to you. So the follow-up question is for Torment. What type of lemming stands still with arms outstretched, preventing other lemmings from passing? The blocker lemming? That's correct. Two ha <laughs> Guesses! <laughs> All right. Curses. Uh, <laughs> guilty Gear. Incorrect. Please continue. Oh, sorry. It's one of the Final Fantasies. You don't know which one it is? Uh, four. No, seven. Six. Oh, seven. seven. Oh, it's oh. The, that's the battle theme from Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, it is, yep. It's called Those Who Fight Further. Alright. Buzz in if you think you know the answer. What is the name of the Echo Terrorist group that Barrett leads? Torment. Avalanche. That's correct. Next question is simple. Eris or Tifa? Eris. Fuck yeah. <laughs> What's your real answer? Eris. If it's between her and Tifa. Nah, I don't... If it's between Lulu and Tifa, it's uh, Lulu. You would have got negative points if you said Tifa. Oh, I wouldn't have. I would have <laughs> said Eris. <laughs> Alright, it's a close battle. Crisis has 35 to Torment's 31. This one might give me <laughs> difficulties.
Sorry, I played through it twice. You're not going to get it if you don't have, don't have it already. Torment, Mega Man 2. No. Uh, Crisis Mega Man. No, it's not a Mega uh. Man. It's what you claim to be your favorite SNES game. Fluffia. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Remember when we went to uh, PK, PK Sushi, Sushi and I was talking about the soundtrack and how none of the music was memorable? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I had the, I, I've been practicing quite a bit. That piece of music right there, I had the hardest time. You're at it, huh? Because it was just like, all right, every time I started, I was like, I don't know how it goes. I forgot <laughs> it like every time. It's so weird. Okay, so buzz in if you think you know the answer. Weapons have an IP ability. The price price price. I heard. Duh, duh, duh. I, I didn't duh, ring duh. in. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Kari points. Okay. Uh, the uh, the question was what does the I stand for? Uh. But that's fine. So one point for a Crisis. Follow up question for Crisis. There are four Sinistrals in this game. Name three of them. Uh, Gates, Amon, and uh, Deus. That's correct. The other one was Aaron. Aaron. That's right. Yep. Ding, ding, ding! Bonus question! Yes! Better game. Final Fantasy 4 or Lufia 2? I'm not selling out Lufia 2. Well, you know, I'm going to have to say Lufia 2 because it's my. it was on my number one list. Bonus point awarded for honesty. Negative point for selling out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you guys were both honest, I think. Yeah. All right. But you're both wrong, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next one. This one's a little bit easier. But you might not get it. Torment! Goonies 2. Incorrect. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Marble Madness, yep. another game uh, on my list. I knew it as soon as I said Goonies 2. <laughs> so pissed. <laughs> Alright, so buzz in if you think you know the answer. Who developed Marble Madness? Crisis. Uh, Tecmo? Incorrect. Uh, Torment. Sunsoft? Incorrect. Atari. Uh. Buzz in if you think you know the answer. What did the NES version of Marble Madness lack that was offered by the arcade version? Crisis. Uh, able to verse another player. Incorrect. Torment. The rollerball. Correct. Uh, I was going to say that, but I was like, uh, that might not be it. Okay. Let me see if I can fuck this one up, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Right. Sorry. Okay. Super Mario Brothers 2. Incorrect. Oh. A little bit more. I was going to play the next part of the song. Uh, 
It's got to be uh, Final Fantasy IV. Oh, so close. It's the original Final Fantasy. Uh, Buzz in if you think you know the answer. Who is the main antagonist in the original? Torment. Final? Chaos. Incorrect. Uh, Crisis. Garland. That is correct. Uh, Second question for Crisis, because he got the first answer, first question correct. What is the name of the party assembled at the beginning of Final Fantasy? The Warriors of Light. I put the Light Warriors, but same thing. Okay, this is the last musical clue. Let's see how much I can fuck this one up. <laughs> Damn it. This is the last one that I learned. I'm sorry. I'm going to try it again. Crisis. Mega Man X. Thank you. You <laughs> I, my ass. I, <laughs> I, I knew what it was from the beginning. I just wanted to hear more of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can play it much better. I'm sorry. After a soccer game and just loss of memory. Sorry about that. So these are for Crisis. On which stage can Mega Man obtain the Hadouken in Mega Man X? Armored Armadillo. That's correct. Follow-up question. Mega Man X and Zero are a part of what team? The Maverick Hunters. That is correct. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have Crisis at 43 and Torment at 33. Good news. Bonus question. Yes. Okay, this one will require some writing. Uh, are you prepared to write? Yes. Yes. You will have one minute to tell me what your favorite piece of music that I played today was and why it was your favorite piece of music. The winner will receive 20 points. Go! Thirty-three. seconds. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Down. Okay. Crisis, because you're in the lead, you can go first. All of them. All of them was my favorite. <laughs> Besides Marvel Madness. <laughs> the main reason is because it was made by Atari, and I didn't know that. <laughs> That's all I had. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At first, I was going to do Mega Man X, but then I was like, no, I like them all except for Marble Madness. <laughs> okay. Even the Batista one and the Seamus yeah, one? Yeah, or. Yeah. <laughs> they all sounded really good. <laughs> Thank you. I said, I love the Mega Man X music because even though Nick had to start over, he nailed it the second time. Brandon <laughs> even got it. Nick is so talented, he learned all these songs in a short period of time. I am tone deaf. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be some judgment required here. Those are both very good answers. Hmm. I'm going to have to give this one to Torment. That's punishment for bailing on Anthrax. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still hearing about that, huh? <laughs> so we were talking about punishments. And I think a, a good punishment would be to have you recorded playing the guitar for 30 seconds. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> on the phone? On the phone? What do you mean? Are you going to record your phone? No, on, on our podcast. Oh, okay. I thought you were... <laughs> I think it'd be pretty funny to record it while on the phone, too, so I could... What do you mean on the phone? Like on YouTube. Oh, yeah, we could do that. That sounds like fun. This is like the Emma dance. <laughs> I'm left-handed. 
it's good luck. Here, it's, it's muted right now, so you don't have to worry about something okay. like this. Just go ahead and throw it on. Or you can sit down if you want to, I don't care. No, I need to stand. So. Okay. Um, how do I put on, I put on gar guitar gear like this, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> You're going to bring his guitar. <laughs> yeah, sorry, this has got that little change there. Here we go. No, I, I need to do it left-handed. No. <laughs> 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 right -handed. Just do it right-handed. Why does it matter? Because I'm left-handed. <laughs> I know, but she can't play anyway. <laughs> we should pick that. Right? <laughs> I guess I'll... Got it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go. We started. We started. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, was it? No. No, it's fun. <laughs> Alright, I do have some prizes as I had mentioned. Uh, this is going to go well with your collection over here. I got some. Oh, that's sick. Spikes oh. made from those beads, or what, what do you call them? Perler beads. Perler huh? beads? Okay, so these are all the, the original classes from the original Final Fantasy. That's tight. Got a fighter, a red mage, black mage, which I think you have one over there yeah. already. White mage. Is it ninja or black belt? I think it starts out as a black belt. Black belt, right? yeah. And then a the thief. So, what we're going to do, Torment one, so he's going to get first pick, and then you're each going to pick which one you want. So you're going to get three each. So basically your, your prize for winning is that you get first pick. All right. Hmm. I'll get the fighter. White Crisis mage. takes the white mage. Torment is in deep thought. Considering the black mage, red mage, black belt, or thief. Black belt. <laughs> nice. Thief. <laughs> there is a red mage and a black mage left. Goes with the red mage. I think there might be some tactics involved there, knowing that Crisis already has a black mage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it. You guys have anything to add on? No, this was heck of fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun and, for me too. And it sucks knowing the songs, but not knowing what uh, they're from. Like I could follow along to some of the beats, and uh -huh. then like, what is this? And I just couldn't remember. Well, uh, I mean, it makes it more difficult if I mean, with without having a drum track or vocals or anything with it. That Seamus one, I had no idea it was him. Really? Yeah. Because I, and even if you, you told me, I don't know what his song really sounds like. It's the... It's, it's a, a shame, shame, a shame. <laughs> <laughs> the worst song ever. <laughs> all right, are we all done? Yep. All right, so that does it for Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia, Episode 70. This is Nick. This is Brad. This is Brandon. Happy hunting.